Hey, Better Editors, it's Chris, and I am back with a brand new plugin that is going to help you batch export still frames from your sequences inside of Premiere Pro. It's called Permanent Markers, and it is a fantastic time saving solution. Let's check it out. Okay, so there are a number of reasons why you may need to export still frames from your sequence inside of Premiere Pro. And up until now, you could only do one at a time, either using the export frame option in the program monitor or going to export and exporting image sequences like JPEGs or PNGs or TIFFs. Well, that changes today. With your current sequence up, now you can open the Better Editor Permanent Markers extension. This extension is going to look at every marker that you have placed in your sequence and export a still frame at that exact location. Now, using the default values that pop up with permanent markers, I can go to my exports folder. I'll click, make sure we're going to exports, select the folder, and then hit the export button. In just a few seconds, I have exported five individual still frames for my entire sequence. If we open up Explorer, go check up our exports, a new folder has been added with our sequence name. See, this matches up here. We can double click, and inside we have five still frames, each of them with the name of the sequence followed by the time code that they were exported at. Pretty smooth, right? Permanent Markers has a lot of extra features as well. We can export in multiple file types like PNGs, JPEGs, TIFFs, and include an alpha channel. We can change the resolution of the exports to either be the sequence resolution, half that, a quarter of that, or even something custom. We can also sort the marker selection. So let's say I only wanted to export this green marker right here. I can click green, make sure my export locations are still set, and hit export. It finishes, I go check, a new folder has been added, and if I look in here, only one export has been added. Pretty cool. Let's say I wanted to export multiple markers, but only within a certain section of my sequence. To do that, I could set in and out points in my sequence, and it's only going to look at this red and this blue marker inside that sequence. So let's go ahead and still say all markers, and just to uh, have some fun with it, let's give these markers a name. So I'll go over here to the red marker, and we will type this red marker, just to be easy. We'll do the same thing with the blue marker. And now, if I set my naming convention to the marker name and hit export, but before I do that, let's make sure we click Use Sequence In and Out. Duh. Okay, now let's export and see what happens. We open up our folder and we have a blue marker followed by the timecode and a red marker followed by the timecode. Pretty nice. One other thing that I want to show you, because it is a really awesome feature of permanent markers, is we can make our own custom name. So if we click on the custom tab, we actually have a template builder. And in here, we have all of these options where we can say, I want my marker names to be the project name, followed by the sequence name, and followed by, let's say, the number of markers there are. We hit save, and now that has been added to our naming convention. Hold up, just to be clear. The template builder is 100% customizable. What this means is you can even type whatever you want along with these handy tokens. So. Let's say better editor, and then we'll follow with a couple of underscores. And then let's say the project name dash sequence name underscore suite, because why not? So once we do that, we come down here, hit save, and it will be applied to all of our exports. Okay, so now where were we? And let's go ahead and we're just going to export all of our white markers, and let's do our green marker as well. And let's go ahead and change things up. We'll do a uh, JPEG this time around. And notice when you hit JPEG, the alpha channel turns off because it's not available for JPEGs. So we hit export, go back to our Explorer window. And looking here, we have three exports. So as you can see, this can save you a ton of time when you're working on things like shot logs or needing to make thumbnails or a variety of other tasks. If you want to download permanent markers, there's a link in the description below. I hope this helps you save time moving forward. And if you liked what you saw, hit subscribe and maybe hit that like button for me. See you next time.